Right now at Gap Factory and Banana Republic Factory, save 50 to 70% off everything in stores and online. That's right, 50 to 70% off everything. Celebrate the 4th with dresses from $19.99 at Banana Republic Factory. And at Gap Factory stores, tees start at $4.99. Plus, save an extra 40% off clearance. Sale in Tuesday. Search our store locator for your nearest Gap Factory and Banana Republic Factory store or shop us online. Blog Talk Radio. Hi, this is Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, and welcome to No BS Hiring Advice Radio on Blog Talk Radio and on Google Hangouts. This is a time where I like to spend about 15 minutes speaking with you about some aspect of hiring, staffing, recruiting, just doing a better job of of being more effective in bringing people on board. Because to me, hiring staff doesn't have to be hard, it doesn't have to be difficult, and it doesn't have to be painful. It's just there are systems in place that are actually roadblocks to being effective. And you know, as someone with an MSW, a master's in social work, uh, we spend a lot of time talking about systems theory and how systems often are the biggest impediment to individuals. And you know, again, I never wound up practicing as a social worker. Uh, I practiced as a therapist for a number of years, but uh, my career has always been in recruiting, but the concepts are the same. There are systems in place that interfere with effective functioning and you know, with some tweaks, not major things, but with some, lots of small tweaks, the process becomes more effective. So this is where this, that's how this show uh, comes into play. I want to take about 15 minutes with you weekly talking about some aspect of the hiring, recruiting, staffing process uh, and try and make it better for you. Because once it's made better, not just for you, but for the job hunter, you're going to attract far better people, uh, bring them on board. Now, I can't uh, deal with what happens once they're on board because that's way out of my control. But I can you know, give you a little bit of a wake-up uh, and help you look at things from the potential employee's eyes uh, and try to make it better for them and thus for you. So this show is brought to you by two sponsors. The first one's Audible. Audible is a service that is owned by Amazon that allows you to order audio books, uh, listen to them on any number of devices. And if you go to audibletrial.com forward slash the big game hunter, you'll be able to download an audio book available, uh, an audio book for free uh, with a trial for their service. And you can cancel at any time. It's no big whoop to them. Next site uh, is consultingassignments.com. Consultingassignments.com is a site where you can find and fill consulting assignments. I know that's a big shock. You can fill consulting assignments. Full-time consulting positions, temp, temp to perm, and contract to hire opportunities anywhere in the world completely free. Posting a job or a resume is free. Searching jobs and resumes is also free, as is the ability to contact one another. The only thing the site charges for is if you want to feature a job or a resume, it's a whopping $10 for 30 days. And if you're planning on featuring more than one position, they have programs that take the cost down to as little as $2 for 45 days. So again, that's consulting assignments. Dot com. And for those of you who are listening to this podcast, um, when I was saying take the price down to, I put two fingers up for, this, for the camera. Uh, so my apologies. Uh, I'm staring at a screen right now rather than uh, remembering that this is actually a podcast that's being simulcast on video. So I thought I would talk about some of the things – a few things that could be done to improve the process and help you get a better class of individual on board. Now, I'm probably going to focus in on one aspect on this show uh, and do others in future shows. But, you know, as someone who's trained as a psychotherapist, uh, who has a master's in social work, 
um, who's worked in recruiting for more than 40 years. And by the way, if you want to disparage social workers, try it for a half hour. I think you'll change your mind about the profession. Uh, I'll simply say that one of the biggest roadblocks to effective hiring is the lack of communication about fit and the lack of evaluation for fit. And I was reminded of this. Um, I picked up a book uh, uh, recently. I'm just going to hold it up for the camera. It's called How the World Sees You. Let's see. Can you see all of that? Yes, How the World Sees You, written by a woman named Sally Hogshead. Now, I heard about her on a podcast show I was listening to, and I took an evaluation test uh, that I think she normally charges $30 for, but she was running a promotion uh, where she gave away the test for free. Uh, if you go to the site howtofascinate.com, uh, I suspect they'll keep having promos uh, for the test, which I thought was really very interesting. Now, I've taken Myers-Briggs tests. I've taken other tests uh, that give me a sense of what my strengths are and how uh, I communicate with the world and how I am happiest. But Hogshead takes a very different approach. She talks about how the world sees you, how others perceive you. Uh, and it was really a very interesting uh, quiz she gave. Not long, uh, but reasonably length. Nothing so cumbersome as to be problematic. And it's a reminder, really, uh, that there are many different personality types in organizations. And if you hire someone or if you have a manager who has a personality type where they are meticulous and thorough and detail-oriented and they're not prepared to work well with someone who is creative and or passionate about what they do, then this is like oil and water. You know, people are going to bump heads with one another very regularly, and it's going to be a problem higher. Now, again, they probably won't even get to the higher because if this person, this hiring manager, is completely unaware uh, of what their proclivities are, then ultimately what's going to happen is oil and water will meet, and we know it's combustible. Uh, it just won't get together. Now, in point of fact, for someone like this, they may actually need someone uh, who has a different personality type. And that person may actually need someone who's more meticulous to implement some of their ideas. See, creative uh, personalities often need people who uh, are grounding for them, will poke holes at their ideas uh, and show them you know, I don't want to say the folly of their ways, but what the misses are. And before you start thinking about clicking off and going somewhere else, I just want to simply say that what's even more important than uh, the two of them getting along is that information about the hiring manager gets communicated to. Now, for you folks who use vendor management systems, you've got a problem because as I look at job descriptions on different systems, often what happens is there's a lot of facts there. We are looking for someone who has this experience. We will want this person to do such and such. You know, all very natural stuff. Uh, you know, it's boilerplate job description 101. You know, these are the skills. These are the requirements. Some systems uh, people will actually tell you whether or not they'll do a visa transfer. Uh, but rarely is there anything in the job description that communicates the effective personality style for the hiring manager. Isn't that a mistake when you think about it? Because you know, people don't just hire robots who, are, who have certain skills. They hire human beings who they have to work with who have certain skills. And unless that's communicated, you're missing lots of data uh, that the recruiter uh, or the potential hire should have in order to have, it, have the job description make sense for them. Now, I see job descriptions from uh, startup firms often uh, that have some more personality in them. You know, they'll talk about 
are you someone who has a drive to be successful? Are you someone who lives, breathes, and sleeps code? Well, it gives you a sense that they're looking for a passionate personality, right? Now, Hogshead uh, goes through 49 personality typings uh, to give you a sense of, uh, of the different individuals. Now, I'm not done with the book, so I can't tell you how the bow is tied, but I'll tell you that when I took the test and I got the results of it, she had me pretty well nailed. Um, you know, in terms of a personality typing. and um, To give you a sense of, of what she does, I'm reaching over to the book uh, for those of you who are listening. Uh, on the inside cover, she describes the typings uh, pretty simply and how they match up. And it's interesting. She talks about a dominant advantage and a secondary advantage uh, for personalities. Uh, and in my particular case, the primary advantage was what's called prestige, which is someone who uh, uh, earns respect with higher standards. And I match that up with a secondary advantage of innovation, um, which is I change the game with creativity. Now, I think that's pretty accurate for me. And she combines that into a category called the avant-garde, whose original enterprising and forward thinking. Pretty much a good description of, of what I do. Because uh, from the time that I got into recruiting, and actually before then, but I don't think you really care about what I did in college. From the time I got into recruiting, I always saw things a little bit differently. It's not just the master's degree in social work. It's the fact that I automated ahead of almost every recruiter I knew in the country. Um, you know, I got my first PC in 1983. God, I feel old um, and start to use the tool so before I go off on this tangent about myself I'll just simply say that what you folks ought to be doing is making sure that your firm is commuting in, uh, communicating information about the hiring manager to recruiters that uh, if you're evaluating people you're ensuring that the hiring manager is open to the idea of a complementary personality to, uh, from the employee and not just lots of clones of themselves uh, when they're evaluating people. Clones are good up to a point, but for a person, I'll use myself as an example, who's very creative, I'm not real detail-oriented, although I force myself to be. Um, being detail-oriented requires a lot of effort, and it's draining for me. So hiring someone who has that thoroughness that complements me um, would, would serve me well. Again, different personality types, and I'm using myself as an example. And, uh, I think it's important to convey information to make sure that the hiring manager is on board with this and that recruiters know what's going to work with them. It's not about how good the oral communication skills, although those are important for someone to have. It's not about the knowledge of, of you know, the subject matter. Uh, that I'm addressing here, because either they have the skills or they don't. But fundamentally, what misses way too often is the absence, excuse me, of the fit. You want to have a fit between hiring manager and potential hire, because when there's an effective fit, we have a hiring manager who encourages uh, a person to be grand and magnificent within their style, you've got a great hire. So I covered one point today. I'll do more in the future. But for today, I was talking about the importance of uh, a hiring manager being aware of fit. And I'll see if next time that will be my subject or I'll wait a week and continue on. But in the meantime, I just want to say that if you'd like help with recruiting for staff, I'm pretty unique in what I do you know, in terms of evaluating and assessing people. And feel free to contact me at Jeff Altman at TheBigGameHunter.us or use the phone number that will be in the show notes uh, as a way of reaching out to me. I'd love to help you firm staff positions and put my systems in work, uh, at work uh, to help you do effective hiring. If you'd like to find out more about me and some of the programs I have for firms, 
uh, come over to my website, which is thebiggamehunter.us, and go exploring. There's lots of content that will help you with recruiting, staffing. Uh, I even have a new feature I call American Headhunter, where I'm starting to create videos for YouTube that are geared toward third-party recruiters. So, again, uh, thebiggamehunter.us. Come exploring, and if you'd like my help with doing recruiting for your organization, uh, reach out to me at Jeff Altman at TheBigGameHunter.us. So this is Jeff Altman. Hope you enjoyed today's show. I'll be back next week with more advice for you. Take care. You're a business owner. Check. You have business owner's insurance. Check. And 10 years ago, that went about enough. Today, small businesses are being targeted and taken down by hackers. Medical offices, consultants, CPAs, any business that's built success has everything to lose. You probably have cybersecurity installed on your computer. Check. But you probably don't have cyber insurance. Coverage against loss and damage if your data is compromised. Cyber policy covers that gap. CyberPolicy.com shops the leading cyber insurers to find you the right policy at the right price to avoid a catastrophe. Coverage against loss and damage if your data is compromised. Get a custom quote today in just four minutes. And for a limited time, use the promo code BLOGTALK to get Norton's small business protection for up to five devices. Free when you sign up for cyber insurance. Plan. Prevent. Insure. Visit CyberPolicy.com. That's CyberPolicy.com. Right now at Gap Factory and Banana Republic Factory, save 50 to 70% off everything in stores and online. That's right, 50 to 70% off everything. Celebrate the 4th with dresses from $19.99 at Banana Republic Factory. And at Gap Factory stores, keys start at $4.99. Plus, save an extra 40% off clearance. Sale in Tuesday. Search our store locator for your nearest Gap Factory and Banana Republic Factory store or shop us online. 